Hey guys, uh, welcome to tutorial on how to make forms in a Mac. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to build in a few different things into Word. So first, I'm going to go ahead and open up, of course, my application. So I'm just going to select a blank file. And from that file, um, I noticed that I have the developer tab enabled. If you don't have that enabled, you won't be able to do any of this. So in order to do that, you will have to go to preferences. Okay. Actually, and go to ribbon. And in this ribbon, you'll notice all of these different things and make sure that the developer tab is enabled. Okay, so with that done, you should see this developer tab is now new. So in order to do a drop-down menu, um, if you want to provide somebody with something that you would do in a web page, um, first thing that you're going to do is click combo box. You're then going to double click the combo box and then for the first one I like to click select answer and I just hit enter and it adds it into that list right here. Um, then that's um, based on what you want to do so say the question was uh, who do you think will win the Super Bowl this year? And You might say something like uh, oops, New England Patriots. Okay. Then you just collect your other answers like you might say Pittsburgh Steelers, or maybe if you were completely unrealistic, you might say something like Panthers. It's not going to happen. Uh, then you just either click OK or hit OK. And notice that when you hit this, nothing happens. That's because you need to have protect form. And notice as soon as you do that, this appears. And it lets you select your option. Um, now protect form, once that's enabled, you can't do anything to the form because obviously it's protecting the form. So and if you're going to continue editing the document, you would want to deselect um, protect form. That function basically is something that you use if you want to send a document to someone and you want them to fill it back, but you don't want them to be able to do anything else to it. Just answer the questions. So another one that you can do is checkbox. Um, so same thing again here you might say New England click checkbox Pittsburgh and who did we have up here? Panthers, right? Because that's happening. Just say Carolina. Okay, and then the final thing in here that uh, I like to do a lot of times, if you are, um, if you want to make a form where you want someone to be able to fill something out and to make it easy for them to uh, have appropriate tab stops, um, you want to have a field. You want to have a text field where they just type in that without creating uh, tables, then you would select the text box. And what that does is once you click in the text box, and again the form has to be protected for all of these, then you click that and you just start by type in this box. It controls where my text goes. Something like that. Okay. Now an example of uh, something that would work for that would be if you were making a form where, say, oops, okay, don't want form shading on for this, or do I? Okay, you would type in, say it's like an application name, space, and then you hit text box, and then tab, and occupation text box okay now 
date of birth, DOB, whatever. All right, so now notice what happens here. You go from this one, you hit tab, and you can either it, you can now click these, but if you're in this form, watch what, um, Bob Business, all I have to do is hit tab, you're not doing anything, so that makes it super easy. And that is how to create a form in Mac. Just remember, in order to have everything filled out, the protect form must be filled out. Uh, and it'll be pretty easy to understand for the drop down menu because clicking on it does nothing. And yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention for this is uh, when you go to the combo box, you just double click it, and that brings this up. Okay. All right, and that is how to create forms in Word on Mac. Just remember that in order to have the developer tab enabled, you need to go to uh, Preferences and then select Ribbon and make sure that the Review tab is selected. Okay? All right, uh, that concludes my video, and I hope you enjoyed watching.